Good day, viewers. Well, my uh, UPS um, MOSFETs have arrived. I've already replaced it and I just did a quick test and it works. So, I'll be Dazzler. I'll fix it. I'll clean up this battery, put it back in, put this back together. It all works. Uh, the uh, 555 timer test is alright, so I just popped the other um, transistor here. I'll replace it now, so UPS is ready to get back in business. Awesome. As for this VFD, yeah, one of the phases went to Earth, hence why I popped one of the uh, RGBTs. I'm probably going to replace them all just to be in the safe side. I can't say this melter has gone bad, there's a driver for them probably uh, on the control board. Normally when RGBTs go, they all normally go, and when they all go, they take the driver with it. But in this case, I've only popped one RGBT. Actually, hang on. Uh, two of them. One phase, two phase, three phase. So this phase here blew both RGBTs. And when it's done that, it's actually flashed over on the second phase on this RGBT. So that too will have to be changed. It's best that uh, this uh, phase all look alright, and that one here looks alright. But I'm going to change them all anyway, just to be on the safe side. To change them all, I can't send it to the sky and pop. As I did rip the plug out of the socket as soon as I went bang. And as a capacitor's discharging, a little spark came off here, and I just looked carefully. This gate uh, gate resistor, 22 RO, which is a 22 ohm resistor. That's the only one that's blowing up. It's just got a big crack across it. So I haven't got any of those. I have to buy some of those to uh, repair this. I'll get me a Rella soldering station going for that. It's not hard to solder SMD. It's just a. Uh, if you want to make it easy, what you can do is super glue the component down first and then just tack one side and tack the other. So 22 ohm uh, resistor, that is 22RO, which is a, a code for 22 ohm. It's quite a good little uh, inverter, this. So I don't really want to uh, scrap it, I really want to try and repair it. Normally, the, um, typically when they do get banked, the, RG, the ones that use the RGBT module, the big one with the gel inside, those big RGBT modules, they normally take out the drivers with them. But uh, this one doesn't seem to have gotten any more other damage that I can see. This is not the programming half of it. It's just the uh, main inverter part. This is a power bit here. So that one's blowing the gate resistor. The other gate resistors all seem to not be burnt. But anyway, I'll have to order a set of those, I think. But yeah, rule number one. If the motor's got a bit of moisture and it goes from earth to a phase, that's what happens to your drive. Bye bye. But yeah, but the uh, new RGBTs are on their way. So um, they're actually quite cheap too. Bonus, so now I'm going to have to buy a roll of um, these resistors. 22 ohm SMD resistors. I'll have a look in my stash just to see if we've got any of that size in my uh, other scrap electronics, but I don't know. Anyway, let's put this UPS back together and we'll uh, put that battery in it and give it running properly on camera. I just had it sitting like that and run it and then uh, had it tested just for, uh, as a bench test, and yeah, she's all good. Very handy, so you're going to keep those. Providing nothing else goes bang, but these, all the 555, but just these go bang. Very cheap to fix. That's only five bucks there, so fix this UPS good. Uh, put it back in service, or you probably use it on something else in that battery in it, just for little things. Test it out. Power's on. Acts as normal. Now the inverter test on the battery. There we are. The inverter's working. I've repaired it. Good repaired UPS. 
There we are, I'll fix this UPS. Killed my batteries and now it's been cleaned up and repaired. So the uh, 5.5 timer test was um, obviously successful. The 5.5 timer is fine. Because it shorted the, one of the pins at a 5.5 timer, 5.5 timer, as it was switching, it was on constantly. So obviously what that did, it was driving a transformer it was basically driving a transformer instead of AC, it was giving the transformer DC. That of course isn't going to work because transformers work in AC. So something had to melt down like a nuclear reactor and it was one of those, uh, one of those halves of the waveform that, that had got hit which was that transistor. So they up then up then and bang, DC all of a sudden and yeah, that popped. Basically, that's basically how it failed because the 555 timer wasn't um, switching. It got locked on and just pretty much gave it straight DC to the uh, transformer via those transistors. And the first one that popped here was driving one part of the waveform, and then that circuit blew that one out up. Well, they were shorted it out and blew the trace in the one next to it, this first one. Then when I went to power it up after I repaired that trace, this one there was uh, damaged. Then when I put the power on it, it blew that one out up. So yeah, it, put, it just killed one uh, driver transistor and blew the trace on the other one. You could say whichever part of the um, waveform was the one that was up, locked on DC and not switching AC. That's how it failed, but I fixed it now, that's all fixed. Got a good another spare UPS put back in a back as a spare now, so that's saved. Anyway, I'm gonna uh, shop online for some of these resistors. I think I don't know what wattage they are. I gotta get the data off. They're not the smallest ones because there's different watt power rating. I'll have a look at my spare parts. Though. Anyway, we'll get that replaced. Anyway, that'll be enough for now. Thanks for watching.